award winners notified by the end of next month. One thing I do want to emphasize to you is that uh, a big part of the benefits that our coaches get is a $2 million liability insurance policy. Um, and due to the, uh, the situation of these times and all, uh, I've sent out an email to our membership saying that it's very important that the coaches follow the state guidance and procedures regarding gathering teams, et cetera. Um, uh, their liability insurance coverage would uh, not remain in place if a coach violated a state or state athletic agency or school system policy. And so I'd really like you to make sure that as you go forward talking to your uh, coaches uh, in your schools and all, that you make sure that they understand that they need to be following state guidelines and OSAA guidelines and your school district guidelines, or they will not be covered by that liability insurance and all. Um, one thing before I do turn it over to Chris uh, real quick is uh, we're really excited uh, about a new uh, free communication app. It's called SportsU. Over the last six months, we really vetted this new communication app. Um, we started using it with our board here in the last month. Um, other states have jumped on board. We heard a real nice presentation uh, back in January, and uh, Texas uh, has uh, kind of been the uh, uh, forefront of this. They have over 130,000 uh, coaches, community members, athletic directors in their state using it now. Uh, we're going to uh, send out an email to you talking a little bit about it and the benefits of it. Uh, really what it, it does is it's very protective of coaches in today's world. Um, there's more versatility than texting, emailing, uh, and using other apps that we believe. In, and, and it's really a safe way to communicate to student athletes and parents. And uh, other states that have kind of uh, helped us with this situation are using it right now, are Illinois, Indiana, Nebraska, Georgia. And so we really think that uh, it's really something that we want to explore and, and provide for our coaches and athletic directors in our, in our, in our state. And so uh, I'll be sending you some information in a broadcast email uh, here soon to uh, kind of update you on that and go from there. Uh, Chris continues to be a, a positive part of our leadership team and all. And so I'm going to turn it over to him, and he'll talk a little bit about some other opportunities for that uh, we've been able to provide for coaches. Chris? Thank you, Rob. And uh, first thing, I want to congratulate all the winners that uh, Troy uh, mentioned here a few minutes ago. That's a great honor. As Peter mentioned yesterday, I'd like to publicly congratulate Rob Younger on his NFHS Citation Award. It certainly deserved as uh, I get to witness Rob's leadership on a national level as he was president of NOCAD last year, and is currently president of the USA Football's Alliance Group. So congratulations, Rob, on a great honor. Uh, we at the OACA felt it was very important to help our coaches during this pandemic. So we have partnered with Bruce Brown and Rob Miller, Proactive Coaching, paid them $500 to provide some excellent opportunities for our coaches. We came up with three options. The first option, Every Wednesday at 10 a.m., Rob Miller provides a presentation that is free to our coaches. He's done this the last two weeks, and they have been excellent presentations. This week, he speaks on seven ways to lead your team. Next week, his topic is first steps to successful teams, core covenants. And then on May 7th, he's going to speak on life lessons for athletes. These have been excellent, and we encourage your coaches to participate. You can find these links on our website, oregoncoach.org. The second option is for an individual coach to sign up and access their library. It's uh, provided right now $30 for 90 days. Usually that is $30 for 30 days, but they're giving us a good deal at this time. The third option is probably the best option, and that's to access their library, just like option two, only it's for your whole coaching staff. Every coach in your school can access their library for 90 days for only $150. Their library consists of over 50 10-minute coaching topics, over 40 podcasts of the best coaches you've never heard of, and over 70 blogs that can be downloaded. So that's a great deal that's provided by uh, the Coach Association there. We also want to remind you that the OACA has partnered with Lines for Life and Oregon Youth Line. They provide excellent resources for our coaches, which is so important at this time. Uh, we want you to remind your coaches to please stay proactive with our suicide prevention awareness. 
One of OACA's main objectives is to provide professional development opportunities for our coaches as we work to make our clinics the best we can. So far this year, over 1,900 coaches have participated in our baseball, golf, tennis, and football clinics. Besides professional development, these provide networking and developing relationships with other coaches from around the state. We'd like to thank those of you who have helped us at our clinic as a part of our staff for your leadership and commitment in providing a quality experience. Last August, we collaborated with the OSAA, OADA, OAOA, and OATS to conduct our second annual coaches symposium. It was an absolutely awesome event. It's not just an X's and O's clinic, but rather an opportunity to provide information concerning the many aspects our coaches have to deal with in today. Team building, nutrition, social media do's and don'ts, dealing with parents, Title IX and athletics, coach official relationships, hazing prevention, suicide awareness and prevention are just a few of the topics that are covered. One of your conference questions is to discuss the best possible date for this symposium. We usually have had it in August and are looking to move it to November now, but would like your input. Once we get all that finalized, you can look for some information coming out later in the spring. Yesterday, Brad and Chris mentioned some proposals that came from our coaches and the OACA that were passed at the February board meeting. Track and field uh, coaches brought an excellent proposal that passed that allows teams that enter a two-day track meet to only count as one meet against your allotted 12 team meets each year. And the baseball pitch count is provide better accountability at all levels, including freshman, JV, JV2, and of course varsity, which our coaches felt was badly needed. We're meeting next week with our winter sports chairs. We'll be hearing some proposals from them at that time, and we'll be bringing those to you at a later date. We appreciate the work of the OSAA and OADA to review and develop the proposals for mercy rules in basketball, soccer, baseball, and softball. This has been brought to our attention many times in the past years, so we thank you for this important item. As you can imagine, our summer all-star games are waiting to see if they can be played this year. We'll certainly get that information out to you once those dates have been determined if they're able to be played this year. Thank you for all that you guys do for your great work. You don't get told enough how much you're appreciated. So thank you, and I'll turn this back over to Rob. Thanks, Chris. Um, just in closing, um, I cannot tell you how much uh, I appreciate the partnership uh, when I say it over and over again, but it's so true. Um, we look forward to having you guys answer those conference questions so we can take uh, some of those, uh, that information and, and use it in working with the OADA and the OSAA, uh, specifically like Chris mentioned with the Mercy Rules and with the symposium dates. Um, I'd like to echo congratulations to everybody that uh, was awarded today. Uh, awards are, are are special, and I do have to say thank you uh, for those that have reached out to me recently and in, in the last two days since uh, Peter said some really nice things yesterday about the award that uh, I was honored with this year. Um, so thank you for that, Peter and and Chris and the OSA staff. Thank you for your support uh, in uh, pushing that forward, and uh, and I'm really honored to to receive that and all. Uh, and I always close by saying, uh, always remember that we're a service organization to coaches. And uh, you coach coaches. And so anytime we can do anything uh, in assistance to you, your programs, your schools, uh, please don't hesitate in contacting us. And uh, we really appreciate this opportunity to communicate with you uh, virtually. And um, let's hopefully next year uh, get back to being able to see one another. Networking is so important. Um, I've enjoyed the last 23 years of going to the OADA conference. And I'm going to be honest with you, uh, I've really reflected this week about primarily I just enjoy seeing uh, friends, uh, colleagues, shaking hands and, and spending time with you. And I really look forward to uh, next year's uh, opportunity to redo that again. So thank you, guys, and uh, best wishes and stay healthy. Thank you so much, Rob and Chris. That is uh, great information and a great connection. I will say that. Um, in my almost one year 
uh, of doing this particular position, I more or less assumed that the coaches association throughout the United States and the, the state associations throughout the United States worked closely with the athletic directors associations. Turns out it's not that case uh, all throughout the country. We are very fortunate to have the relationship we have with the Oregon uh, Coaches Association and the OSAA, and it's quite unusual. So I feel proud of that. I want to continue to um, make that stronger. And with that, um, I would like to say that the, the conference questions, everybody has those. Most leagues, I think, have discussed them and voted. The deadline to get those in, we're moving that up because we want to coalesce that data. The deadline to get those results in to Troy is Thursday. That's April 23rd. So we'd like to get all those um, results in, and then Troy will get those back to both the OSA and uh, us, and I will post those results on our website. Uh, with, without uh, further ado, we're going to conclude this session, and we will open up the next session which will start at 2.45 uh, with Tom Bent and Nathan Stanley. Thank you so much, everybody.